This very short demonstration will be just to uh, show you how you can download and install an icon editing package so that you can draw, create your own icons from scratch. Um, I'm doing this in uh, in Windows Photo Viewer is the uh, package I'm using to create this video. I've taken screenshots um, of the various parts of the installation. Um, so this is uh, a way of recording a um, a demonstration that anybody can use. Um, you don't have to have professional or even complicated technology to do it. So these are all just screenshots which we've put together um, from an installation procedure. So there's our first one. We go to Google. Um, the next picture is we go to sibcode.com uh, S-I-B-C-O-D-E dot com and we search for the Junior Icon Editor it's a free download as you can see I've circled that and labeled it here if you click on this icon um, circled here the download icon um, we'll download the package um, that will show on your desktop like this um, junior icon editor um, when you've got that you double click on that package which will then produce this screen which is the welcome to the junior icon editor 4.3 installation and by clicking next um, we get the agreement we need to agree to the above terms and conditions um, which I've done in this case and click next um, <coughs> then you depending on what version of Windows you've got whether you've got 64-bit Windows or 32-bit Windows we'll get either that one or that one um, I've got the 64-bit so uh, obviously this is pertinent to my computer if you have 32-bit whoops just go back a bit if you got 32-bit it will look more like that so move onward um, select file associations this is, means whenever you get an icon file on your computer and you click on it it'll bring up this program to show you how it's made or, or what it looks like um, ICPR is a is a icon project basically which uh, is peculiar just to the junior icon editing package uh, ticket or not whichever you prefer um, PNG images um, they're handy but uh, if you have something like um, paint shop pro or uh, picture maker or something like that on your computer then I would untick any ticks that are in that box it these are the default settings so uh, you don't need to do anything drastic in there okay I'll move on again to the next um, it runs through the usual uh, uh, bar line between that page and this one it runs the bar up the middle to show you it's installing it takes on my computer it took just under 15 seconds to install uh, that depends on the speed of your processor um, usually between sort of 15 seconds and 30 seconds is ideal for a small package like this anyway on this page we click finish and look on your desktop and you'll see the little uh, uh, desktop icon editor um, icon it's created on your desktop so click on there or double click on there and that takes you to the very first of the uh, advertising screen obviously this is free software so it does tend to have a few adverts around it that's the first advert page um, get rid of that it will show a second one which I didn't bother recording uh, but the third one third click will take you to this page where you set up the requirements for your new icon um, in this case it comes default setting as 32 by 32 also true color um, you can select monochrome 16 colors 256 16 colors and 256 colors are very simple to work to for first time if you're just doing this for the first time and want to mess about use one of the lower resolutions because um, you'll find it a lot easier you don't have to worry about blending and that sort of thing so there we are we'll click on that um, click OK and again we get another page um, this particular area at the top left corner is the junior icon, junior icon editor home page if you like it's a free license if you want to see what else is available click on uh, http colon forward slash forward slash www dot sib code sib code dot com and it will show you all the products available from that particular vendor um, 
there's the uh, last screen that we sort of come to uh, on the setup that's your 32 by 32 square in which uh, you will draw your uh, brand new icons that you create um, it's not limited as far as I know um, for any quantity you can do um, have a play with it it's free and it's fun um, there's one I created um, just a simple folder uh, as you can see that that simple folder you can it will automatically create the rest that's what it looks like that's what the, the uh, finished project looks like just like that and there we go that's it back to square one that's where we started thank you for watching this very short demonstration and have fun doing your icons <laughs>